Hello. If you're making your way to Paris, there are some things you should definitely see, like the Eiffel Tower behind me. However, today I'm going to take you to a few places you may not have visited before. I'm going to start by taking a short trip along the city's famous south bank to the Musée d'Orsay. What I most love about the Musée d'Orsay is the fact that it used to be an old dilapidated railway station that the French, in their skill and je ne sais quoi, have turned into one of the most famous museums of our time. It's chock full of the world's most famous impressionists, including some of my favourites, Van Gogh and Manet. Back in the car now, to take a journey across the river. We're just heading up towards the, uh, the Trocadero now, where actually is Ollie Phillips and myself's favourite restaurant, uh, Café Long, which looks out on the Eiffel Tower. One funny story related to that is uh, every evening, um, every 15 minutes, the Eiffel Tower lights back up. Uh, and Ollie had a guest over one day and um, pretended to make a phone call to talk to someone who wo apparently worked at the Eiffel Tower and said that he would get the lights turned on specially for them. Lo and behold, obviously 30 seconds later, the lights come on um, and the person wasn't the sharpest tool in the box and bought the whole thing hook, line and sinker. We're approaching uh, the Arc de Triomphe roundabout, or, or the roundabout at the top of the Champs Elysees, which I'm led to believe is the only roundabout in Europe that you're not insured on. It appears there is no rules, no regulations, you just accelerate onto it as fast as you possibly can and hope that everyone around you stops and, and lets you get in. Now, as you can see, people are not giving really giving way to the, <laughs> the left and the right, you just sort of have to keep weaving in and out of, in and out of traffic, anyone can go anywhere. So where's this chap going now? Um, but it is a beautiful monument, the Arc de Triomphe. Unfortunately, you don't get much time to see it as you're whizzing around, uh, gripping the seat uh, as hard as you possibly can. moment we're about to enter the, the Mare. It's very famous around here because there's a lot of artist shops, a lot of very nice restaurants, a lot of very small areas. It's uh, got beautiful architecture. It's a very live and happening place. It's not quite as um, out there as perhaps uh, Soho is in London, but it's a little bit quieter and slightly more refined. So we're currently approaching uh, our target, which is Place de Vosges, which is probably the most famous area um, in the Mare. Uh, it's where Cardinal Richelieu used to live and it's uh, sort of a central hub with a lot of little restaurants on the outside and a very famous park in the middle where obviously in this fine weather everyone can go and enjoy themselves. It's a great sort of tourist attraction even if you grab a, a sandwich from the many uh, boulangeries in Paris just to go and relax and enjoy yourself. Finally, when you're in Paris you have to make the most of the fabulous food and drink and don't worry if you're not a wine expert. I'm here at arguably one of the best wine bars in Paris, Au Chateau. Now we all know that French wine can be a little bit intimidating. We've all sat in a restaurant perusing the wine menu, pretending to know what we're doing and trying to impress a girl or a boy. I'm joined here today by Olivier Manny. Olivier, when people come here, what do they learn? Well, there's a lot to learn. They can learn how to, uh, how to read a French label, they can learn about the different regions, uh, they can learn how to order wine, and they can also just have fun at the bar. Uh, I've noticed the Brits like to have a good time at the bar. I have heard the Brits like to have fun, but as I'm driving today and a professional sportsman, it's apple juice as part of the course, but cheers Olivia anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed my Parisian adventure and it inspires you to explore this wonderful city. And as they say over here, bon chance, au revoir.